Sure, Mess and me, and happy Saturday. I did not realize how late it was. I got up, prepared my cappuccino, recorded it, um, recorded videos for a reel, and started working on editing my spend the week avec moi so that it could post on Tuesday. I didn't do any of it because I'm also trying to not hold baby Chena all day. And truly, that's what I've been doing. The only time I really put her down is to like shower and record. So I'm trying to keep her in her seat on her play mat and the day just went away because she wasn't having it. So I had to end up holding her just for her to sleep. I, um, I'm not going to post the cappuccino video. It's, it's too late. I did it at like seven this morning. I'll probably save it for tomorrow. But um, while she is asleep, I am going to pack. I'm heading to uh, my brother's house for the weekend and I will finish editing once I get there. So far, things are going well. I'm hoping it stays that way. My external drive still did not get here. The husband told me, like, we just have to go to Best Buy. I'm so over. Amazon. I said it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let me get to packing, get on the road. I, um, yeah, I'll record probably on the road because I really like doing those car chats. Let me know if you all like those. Please wish me luck on this editing. I hope it does not take forever, but I'm packing everything so I can finish at my brother's house. So I will check back in. Happy Saturday and ciao for now. He is coming with the shower slippers. So now this is the challenge. It is 50 degrees today. That's about, I think, 10 or so. And tomorrow will be 70. That's about 20. So it's like, what do I pack? I need to dress warm today, but tomorrow. So uh, whatever I do, I need to hurry up while baby Gina is asleep. I need to totally disregard everything I said earlier about not holding her. <laughs> baby Gina is almost packed. I need to eat. That's her little nail kit. <laughs> tech pieces in here I still take notes iPod everyone laughs at me mainly the husband and Dion Dean because I still have an iPod um yeah I think all my tech stuff is packed cappuccino for the road I have to pack like some of my own healthy snacks like my brother has so much junk food I swear in the course of a night I really need to get the husband to get this car detailed Juju the camera kid and his Pano chocolates. But yeah, I have to pack like some of my own healthy food because I will eat all the snacks. It's so tempting. All right, let's get on this road. We are on the road and making progress. There's so many people out now. I hope everyone's being safe and socially distant, even those who are vaccinated. So I am, I got one of the most exciting messages friend in um, Cairo in Egypt. So I am obsessed with mummies. My obsession with mummies is the sole reason why I went to school for one of my degrees, mortuary science. I'm obsessed with the mummy mummification process. So anyway, my friend in Cairo sent me a voicemail that I will have a video coming soon of um, the movement of mummies from one museum to another in Cairo. So they did like this entire procession, um, shut down highways around the Nile to move the mummies. And I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it. When I was in Egypt, I um, it was a very interesting experience. Like I can't wait to take the kids there and it still doesn't register that I have kids with an S now because Juju the camera kid is 13 and I just had baby Gina, but rambling on. Um, it's such an interesting city. Like I went to the museum, um, the Egyptian museum of um, like archaeology or something. I can't remember the name, but amazing museum. But so many of the artifacts are in the UK. So here it is. Egypt has a smaller Egyptian installation than 
the museum in the UK and don't get me started on why and how I feel about that but yeah I'm, I'm super excited to see this video and I'll, I'll look it up some because I'm sure it gets on BBC and so funny when I call my brother I'm like hey you know I'm on the way is it okay if I mention to that's me that you know I'm on the way and he's like I keep telling you you don't have to ask it's totally fine I'm just really big on privacy like contrary to popular belief or to even this I'm super private like I am a super private person so much so that when I told the husband that I started vlogging and I'm, I've been doing the spend the week epic moise versus just you know my reviews on products or purses and all he's like okay you seem to be enjoying this um although the editing process got you down that one time you seem to like doing this however you're such a private person like what are you going to show <laughs> how much can you possibly show since you're so private that's a good question I, I don't know how much longer I can sustain this comment below like what do you think about that like being a private vlogger <laughs> if that makes any sense and this is a conversation that I had as well with regards to my skincare routine and just wanting to show some of the products that I use, but also not wanting to take a camera into my bathroom. Like, but I, I am interested to know, like, what do you all think about my spend the week at Beck I just, I just want feedback. You know, this will be the third, no, when this posts, this will be my fourth spend the week at Beck So I'm finding my way. I'm, I'm learning. But I do, um, you know, I want to know what you all think. Do you all enjoy seeing these? You... Alright, so I'm going to listen to music. And because YouTube is so finicky, I can't let you all hear what I'm listening to. So stop music in five. I have transformed already get into this turban I have to I'm still learning how to wrap it but I have to really pin my hair up because baby Chena uses it as like a rope now to pull herself up we have just ordered dinner and I'm ready for a glass of wine so if I do not check back in today i will um check back in i have to remember the cameras over here i will check back in with you all tomorrow all right ciao for now So
other vloggers, bloggers, influencers, whatever term you want to use, to their like what looks like major motion pictures. Like these girls are doing their thing. And it, you know, kind of made me really like just want to scrap it. And so I allotted myself maybe five minutes to sulk and feel bad for myself. And then I had to pull myself out of that space and tell myself, like, this is my day one. I cannot compare my day one to someone else's, you know, year seven, eight, ten. You know, I am just starting this venture <laughs> four weeks ago by the time this post. And here I am comparing myself with people who have made a career out of this. This is not my career, you know? So, um, you know, just trying to be really gentle with myself and knowing that, this is so cliche, that Rome was not built in a day. And, you know, there are certain bloggers, bloggers who I truly respect. Like, I love that they still have their old, Vlogs when they, you know, look like they were recording from a flip phone. They still have it up on their channel. I really respect that because it inspires new vloggers, new influencers, such as such as myself, to know that we all have to start from somewhere. So if I continue with this, um, I will keep all of the old videos, the old photos, everything, because I want to document my journey, my process to remind myself, to remind others that you have to start from somewhere and just not to compare yourself because that that truly is the fastest way to just cancel yourself out. Like we can put ourselves down faster than anyone else. So yeah, you know, it, it, it's Sunday. It's actually Easter. And um, I'm just in like thought thought and having this long drive really helps with I'm gathering my thoughts and just thinking about you know what's next what's to come the now all of those things so I wish you all could hear the music that I want to listen to but you know you can so I'm going to enjoy this beautiful ride like there's so many nice scenes and um Monday. This is a Fortado Gran Longo by Nespresso. I am I'm getting ready to prepare breakfast. I had sweet potatoes left over, so I'm going to make like a scramble. I got this recipe. I used to get something similar to this from Le Pan Quotidien. So I'll have that this morning. All seems to be going well with the YouTube edit for tomorrow, but there are a few more things I want to do. Wish me luck. Ah. And can you believe my terabyte arrived? It was on the porch this morning. So yes, I'm gonna get that done today. I still need to steam the garments from the thrift store. I have not done that. That will be a separate video um, on YouTube because the video now is already 40 minutes. And had I included the thrifting, it would have been forever. <laughs> So that'll be a separate video, but this is one of the pieces that I got from the thrift store. It has um, really nice detailing at the bottom. It's actually plus size, but I love it. I love oversized pieces. So I'm going to get that done. Enjoy my, well, the foam has fell, but I'll prepare some more cappuccino and I will check back in. Merci beaucoup for um, all of the support that I received regarding my stories yesterday with being um, just super critical and hard on myself unnecessarily, but say la vie, mes amis. So I will check back in. Alrighty, ciao for now.
nose. <laughs> better than walking that's why i keep telling myself stop talking about my vehicle i get where i need to go safely I am just putting up the bag from the night, the stay at my um, brother's house. I <laughs> I did not unpack. It is Tuesday. I realized that I did not record for YouTube today. I only recorded for Instagram. So I posted my spend the week avec moi last week's spend the week avec moi today on um, YouTube. And I did a reel for Instagram and I recorded my stories, the cappuccino process, but I did not record for YouTube. Today was such an amazing day. I had um, my mom and my brother over for dinner. The husband prepared the most amazing steaks. I mean, oh my God, he's, he's just a really great cook in general, but his steaks, like people travel across state lines to have these steaks. And I opened a very, very, very nice bottle of red. I even convinced my mom to drink like that much. That's a lot. <laughs> But it was so much fun just um, having my brother and my mother here. We sat on the deck. We laughed. We joked. I just really value and cherish um, family time for so long. Either I was abroad or my brother. He's on retired military. So it's so nice to have us here. We're just missing my sister. Um, she lives in another state. But I can't wait for us to um, all get together. So I am getting ready to take a few photos for Insta. Um, tomorrow I will post this dress in my stories today. I mentioned that this is my grandmother's dress. So I want to do like a post paying homage to her. I'll do that tomorrow, but tonight I want to have another glass of red and start working on my blog for Thursdays. So if you are not following me um, on Insta, please do. And if you're not following my blog, please do. Really good stuff, I, I'd say. So Tuesdays I post here on YouTube. Thursdays are the blog and every day on um, Insta. So I plan to do a draft today on the blog, which is Tuesday. Tomorrow, do like the final edits and Thursday post. So that that that's the plan. My mom is still here. So she is, um, you know, keeping an eye on baby Chena so I can get some things done. So thankful, so blessed to have her here. So yeah, I'm going to um, see if the husband will join me on the deck for like a glass of wine and some jazz. It's one of those days. I'm floating. I'm so happy right now. But um, yeah, I will check back in with you all tomorrow. I will. Alrighty. Ciao for now. Of me it is Wednesday I just recorded my story for insta but I am about to prepare my cappuccino I have um, a post that I want to post I have pictures that I want to post on insta and I didn't work on my blog last night so sometime today I need to do that so I can have it published tomorrow um today I will be taking it easy for the most part. I may run out, I'm not sure yet, but for the most part, everything that I need to do can be done I'm in the house. So it is time for a cappuccino. I need it. It is about, I don't know, eight, half past eight or so, and I have not had a cappuccino. My mom has the baby. So blessed. They're upstairs. So thankful for that. So yeah, let's get into this cappuccino and figure out where this day is going to go. Should I say it? I'll say it. Ciao for now. Oh, super excited. So my wine shipment has arrived. I will show you where I keep my wine for now. In my DC house, I have like a wine wall. 
but here I just have a small stand and there's another space where I keep wine and this is the husband's bar. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna get that, baby chain is playing that. I'm gonna get this unpacked and I'm gonna pour a glass of white and sit on the balcony so I can do tomorrow's blog post. Thursday. Today has been such a busy day. I am about to prepare my third espresso. We, oui, it's one of those days. I am already posted a reel on Insta and um, that's the husband. And my blog post, Tuesday's YouTube Thursday blog. I have a few more things to get done today and think I think I'm gonna call it an early day, early evening after um, I know, I just, I have a lot of stuff I need to get done, but we shall see. I am going to prepare another espresso and then I will check back in. Ciao for now. This has been my outfit for the day. I am actually, let me flip the camera. I am finally going to run to the mall to make that return about the dress. I realized that I have like two days within the 30 day return period. I thought it was done. So yeah, I'm making a mad dash. I'm going to change really quick and then head to the mall. So we'll chat in the car. Be right back. Not child for now. This is the running to the mall look. I am super excited about these jeans. It has been so difficult for me to find jeans that fit, but... I mean, who is this woman? All right, let me get out of here. I have finally left the house. Of course, I started doing a few things and then almost forgot the bag again. I really thought that I was just going to have to keep this dress, which again, isn't awful. Just for the price, I I don't see me getting like my cost per wear and that's something I always consider and I know that I'm not going to get it altered or do anything with it. So I'm so happy that it's within the 30 days. I think I'm at the 28th day. I'm also hoping that there's not any issues. I've never shopped with this store before, but when I looked at the receipt, the receipt was blank. Not like it faded because it's only been 28 days, but there's nothing on the receipt, but on the back it has like the return policy and all. Super weird. I don't know if this is normal or not, but we shall see. I really, I'm not up for it. <laughs> I hope there's not any issues. If I see anything I like, I'll um, possibly exchange but malls just aren't my thing. I really do not like going to malls. And I know that's so weird to hear me say, but it's true. And the husband always cuts his eyes when I say, you know, I'm not really a shopper. I'm not. For the most part, I buy a lot of accessories, but clothes, I kind of have my fundamental pieces, truly, which is why I'm I needed new things to accommodate this new post mom <laughs> body and um, nursing solely exclusively. Yeah, so I um I had three cappuccinos today, and had I known I was going to go to the mall, I would not have because I always stop at Nordstrom's Cafe. Like that's a must. So maybe I'll just get some tea or something. I mean, I, I cannot not stop there we'll see and um yeah actually i may stop in nordies we shall see but i really want to listen to some tunes and you know the deal so stock music here we go Hurt 
to me that I didn't try on the dress so that you all could see what I was referring to all this time. Sorry. This mask and I forgot I had on lipstick so when I get back in the car I am gonna look like Joker and I wanted to come to the mall today with the hopes that a lot of people would not be here and judging by Nordstrom's I did the right thing so I'm hoping it's like this in the actual mall but I do plan to come back to Nordstrom's to look around of course Nice and empty, yay! Remember how to get to the store. That was my first time shopping with them. And usually when I come to this mall, I only go to Nordstrom's. It's sticking to my <laughs> lipstick. This is driving me crazy. I just, I have to accept it. I have to accept that I'm gonna look like the Joker. I wonder if they have the new Vogue. I'll stop here. I didn't even know they had this store. Oh, it is perfect, nice and empty. So thankful. This is cute. It's not what I need. I'm trying my best to stay the course and only shop for specific items. I need very specific items. And nothing in here is meeting that requirement that everything is so pretty. Possibly. It's nice. Okay, so there weren't any issues. I know I was going to, I initially mentioned, okay, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. I know I initially mentioned Nordstrom's, but I see a Dunkin' Donuts and I have a $2 coupon, because I do $2 Tuesdays with T-Mobile. I have a $2 gift card. I'm using that gift card, and I'm hoping I can find something for no more than $3. That's not caffeinated, because I already had so many caffeinated beverages. So I'll see what else Dunkin' Donuts have, but I am using my $3, $2. The husband always calls me cheap, Wait, he's right, but I'd like to say that I'm resourceful or frugal. <laughs> I am devastated. <laughs> that Dunkin' Donuts that I thought I was going to go to, they don't open until tomorrow. Like seriously, I have this $2 gift card that is burning a hole in my inbox <laughs> and I can't use it. And I don't think there's any drive through Dunkin' Donuts near me. So uh, I have to check the expiration date. I'm so sad. Seven and eight dollars. I cannot not leave without getting these. I wasn't buying her anything else. Back to Nordy's Cafe I go. <sighs> I am well. Let's see, let's see. I'll do the lavender chai. Eight dollars. Eight dollars I just spent on a donut and a latte that I do not need. I am gonna take a few sips of this latte and I will be saving it for tomorrow. <laughs> We mezzanine. I reheat my lattes. All of the pearls. Let's see what they have for Juju. I like for him to be with me. 
when I shop because he's so particular. I wonder where he gets that from. But I'll just take a gander.
so it's um, contingent on the husband's schedule if I run a few errands or not. I may just order everything I need online. Like, I, <laughs> I want to be home more and more now. Like, truly. Ah, so glad I was able to return that dress. Got that out the way. me and happy Friday. I do hope that you all are well. I am starting my morning with a double espresso by an espresso. I've received questions about this when I say double or single ex um, espresso um, along the lines of, oh, but I thought you were drinking a cappuccino. That lets me know that you have not read Cafe Cibouque. It's a vintage blog post of mine where I um, showed a diagram of what each drink contains. And I also um, shared some of my very, very, I think, interesting coffee excursions. Um, one of the most like historical places I've had coffee was the first coffee shop in Egypt. Surreal. It, it was absolutely amazing. So yeah, head on over to the blog and check that out. It's it's a vintage post, so you have to keep scrolling to um, find it. And um, yeah, so today I will be wrapping up my Spend the Week Avec Moi over on YouTube. I'm hoping the editing process goes um, as easy as it did last week. Last week, I used my phone for most of the editing. I plan on getting back on the computer because there's features that I don't have on my phone. Wish me luck. If it becomes too daunting of a task, I will just do it from my phone and that will be that. So um, yeah, yesterday I went to the mall. I returned that dress that I had been speaking about for like two weekly vlogs in a row. I was so terrified that there was going to be issues because the receipt, there were issues with the receipt. Nonetheless, I'll talk about all of that um, on the vlog. So I did not record here. I just realized that I did most of the recording yesterday at the mall for my vlog. But um, yeah, so that's what I will be doing today, an early happy hour at home, just me. But yesterday was lovely. I um, did the errand and then I came home and tried to show my mom how to use Prime and Netflix. We don't have cable, so in the guest room, I had to show her how to use it. And um, she said, oh, let's watch this documentary, Tina Turner. I've seen What's Love Got to Do With It, but there was something about this documentary that was so, I mean, I don't know, mystical. I don't know. I don't know what adjective to work, um, to use, but it, it was powerful. And I don't know if it was the setting 
like watching the story of this like heroin with my mom and my daughter it, it was it was captivating i stayed there and i was just supposed to put the film on for her and go so um yeah i um that's about it she's packing up leaving of course i get so sad whenever it's time for her to leave but um i'm just so thankful that i was able to spend time with her snuck in a pedicure yesterday uh, but all of that will be on the vlog for tuesday skincare i received questions about that as well i did an entire skincare routine and i posted that on the vlog and blog and you can get to my youtube channel and blog with the link in my bio i detailed everything that i use every day but i have not done my um, weekly routine or my night routine because those are different so i'll get to that soon makeup another question i received um I never plan to do that because I, I don't know what I'm doing, frankly. I, I use concealer and I have one brush. That's the extent of my makeup routine. Oh, and my lipstick, my red lipstick that I am, um, signature red lipstick, I'll say. That's not my thing and I, I won't even show you all because it's sad, it's really sad, the routine that I have. So I am gonna get into this cappuccino, check out Cafe C Will Play, learn something new, let me know but it, i really love that post it um it also served as a guide so that when you're traveling internationally you're not shocked when you ask for a coffee and you receive an espresso so um yeah this video has gone much longer than i thought i probably won't hop back on again because if i do record it'll be for youtube but um i hope that you all are well happy friday i will be here answering messages, responding to comments, all that jazz. <laughs> Alrighty, ciao for now.